Pardon me. I am looking for the great scholar's lecture. Basil Fahim's lecture about the antediluvian antecedents of humanity will begin soon. In the meantime, please enjoy our ample stock of exquisite delicacies and tasty refreshments. Where is Arib al Ma'muniya, the poet? Where is Arim? I hope to catch a whiff of her magnificent aura. So rare to see her outside of the round city. The beloved is in the garden, ruminating upon the perfection of nature. Oh, to be a flower held in her discerning hands, inspiring such languid verse. She must be relieved to be free of her wealthy patrons for a change. Oh, perhaps she leads an exciting secret double life. Sleeping out of the palaces to find inspiration in common life. <laughs> I doubt it. What do you see? What see you, my friend? There is that poet the bid loves, whose work keeps turning up in unexpected places. Spirit of the sands. Yes? Symmetry of sky and sea, but only in thine eye do these two planes meet. You have read my work. And who might you be? A lover of poetry, nothing more. And of order. Or should I say, chaos. I know only one living poet who loves chaos that much. Ali ibn Muhammad. Are you a fan of his pedestrian work? The rivalry between you two is legendary. It enhances the craft. I cannot choose. You are most diplomatic. But I would rather seek inspiration among these lovely blooms. Good day. See you around. Indeed. And what brings you back? I want to show you something. <laughs> These House of Wisdom boards collect the wildest trinkets and gadgets. I have been here before, Nihad. This is Ahmed ibn Musa's office. Have you been sneaking in there? Ahmed and his brothers are capable of designing some fantastic devices. Not all of his ideas are that practical, I'm afraid. 
Don't be so smug. The world is full of wonders. Does this remind you of your nightmares? No. More like something from the Bimaristan. Or a training chart of the Hidden Ones. Ah, uh, yes. The swift ways to kill silently. Death in seconds. It gives me a tingle down my spine. Like I'm nearing a cosmic secret. You read too much about magicians and lost cities buried beneath the dunes. You don't read enough. Perhaps there are other worlds, other people, out among the stars. Nonsense. Hmm. Locked. Not getting in this way. Hmm. Lock. Not getting in this way. This. I have seen this one before. Is this what you wanted to show me? Yes. It reminded me of that object we found at the palace. What is it? A drawing from an ancient book. 
There is something you are not telling me. You do not want to know what happens behind closed doors. Why? Because you do not know either? Because, as Dirwish says, sometimes it is better not to know the truth behind the things we must do. The truth, Basim, is that everything is here in front of you. But you refuse to look at it. This is about you. It has always been about you, ever since that night. I took an oath, Nihal. To leave my old life behind and walk this path of shadows. And maybe someday you will find the light. But until then, I will walk behind you every step of the way to remind you not to forget who you are. Is that a threat? I do not know. Translator, Hunain, you should not be back so soon. I know. I'm still nervous, but I couldn't stay away from my books. I guess we must always do our duty. Wada'an. Attention, symposium attendees. That astronomer might be one of Sayyidi, I am honored to make your acquaintance. Good to see more young people enjoying the House of Wisdom. Do you think the great scholar will give a good lecture? Do not waste time listening to his nonsense. I have written many more edifying and practical books instead. On which topics? I have written extensively about sundials, astrolabs, stars and planets, and the circumference of the Earth. Fascinating, Sayyidi. I shall read more of your work soon. Wadaan. Sounds like the lecture is about to begin. I should return to the Kahreman. Pardon me. Is Fazl Fahim's lecture ready to begin? Indeed it is. Head inside if you please. Welcome, one and all, to the House of Wisdom, center of learning in Baghdad, indeed, of the entire world. I am Fazil Fahim al-Kimsa, first scholar of the House of Wisdom, wisest of the wise. Today, I will shock you with what may sound like outrageous blasphemy. <laughs> Do not fear, good people. Though I am old, my mind remains sharp as steel. Today I speak of mysteries, of creatures from the antediluvian age. Do not the ancient prophets tell us about giants from before the flood who forsook Allah and worshipped false idols? <laughs> Is it not possible these giants built marvels, works of wondrous power, now lost to us? 
Zahra and Hassan are both dead. Slain by an assassin's blade. They are dead. Saidi, I urge you to hide until it's safe. Uh, uh, apologies, people, but our lecture has concluded. Please, feel free to explore the House of Wisdom's many fine chambers. You call yourself the great scholar, Fazil. You who burn books and hope the smoke will hide your crimes. How many did you sacrifice in your search for knowledge? How many did you use, damage, and discard in the name of discovery? Now you hide within the House of Wisdom. The house you led astray. But I will find you. And I will exact justice for every soul you savaged for your great work. Pardon me, but I heard a rumor about a hidden basement beneath the House of Wisdom. A secret basement? You must be joking. No, not at all. Surely, such a large building must have basements and cellars to store books and inks. I am aware of no such location on these premises. Never mind. I will look around on my own. As you wish. No one is going to take us from the basement. Uh, uh, Makes my stomach cold to hear such pain. All right. Where are you? Not here, are you? But I will find you. Keep to the roof, I say. Plenty of work to do up here. Safely to do. This key could be always. Speak your God! At the library. <laughs> Better not use my weapons here. This looks like.
Hold on! On me. There is a deep wrongness here. A reek of rot and iron. Those robes might help me get closer to Fazil. What have they done to these people? Where is the robe? I can't believe this corner is that my space gets wrong. This world doesn't look right. Someone... Poor guy will not need this anymore. This should help me blend in. This world doesn't look right. Someone take me back to the bright, shiny place. Subject! In here, now! There are horrors here, but the most terrifying thing is that I have seen it all before. Somehow. Who dares meddle with my great work? Killing my allies and spoiling my ledger. It's an outrage. It looks like the handiwork of a trained assassin. Must be some faction in the round city. Or one of those jealous broods in Shakhtyl. These killings were too subtle for mercenaries. No matter. Once I understand how the mechanism works, I will prove myself to Al Bahamud.
In here, Lackwit. I should blend in before it is too late. You are new, aren't you? I don't recognize you. They promised you gold when you volunteered, yes? No matter. What you are about to behold surpasses all worldly riches. Don't be afraid. Are you afraid? This is my great work. I call it Arua. It will take you on a journey to another realm. Why did the first ones leave this world behind, filled with fools, I wonder, and make so few of me? We call this the House of Wisdom, but its foundations are unsound. For beneath the House of Wisdom lies the Dungeon of Ignorance, and upon such dark secrets we build our philosophies. Science is the noblest purpose. Knowledge is the greatest power. No. No? Then what? Justice. This may be the place. It may be here where lies absolute knowledge. It, it is not how I remember it. Behind the doors... It looked... brighter. But in the end, all we see is darkness. Scholar's notes. He believes in these ancient beings, the masters of memory. How did you find this place? Easy. I just followed the trails of blood. You should not be here. Do you talk to him? Sometimes. Yes. But he does not answer. I do. We have drifted apart since... since that day. But what we have seen, back at the palace... This light... These sounds... 
we cannot have possibly forgotten. Unlike you, Nihal, I keep the past in the past. You call yesterday the past? And this Jinni of yours? This repulsive shadow that crushes your chest? Has it crawled back into the past too? No. It is still here. Sometimes, even in the day, I feel its breath on my neck. The nightmare invades the real world, or has always been part of it. This is part of your reality, Basim. I am a part of your reality too. I am your past. Tell me, will you leave me there? In the dark corners of your memory? I will not. Now, if you could invent a mechanical rug sweeper... Basim... It is done. And how did it all play out? I'm afraid this is a tale for another day. We will save it for one of our campfires. You have done well, my friend. Better get back to my work. You know how easily I get bored. Thank you for what mm. you did, Basim. It is the truth. You have done well. One last thing. Arib. Was she... involved? Not that I know. But we must remain vigilant. <laughs>